We're going to make a coil pot today and we're going to do that using a base and then build up beyond that base. The first thing we have to do is roll out a piece of clay into a ball and then flatten it out by clapping it in your hands. Then when it's about this thick, about as thick as a pencil, lay it in this bowl and just push it to the bottom of the bowl. And then we're going to start rolling out coils. I've already rolled out one coil. And an easy way to slip and score is to use a toothbrush. And that way you're getting the score marks and the water at the same time. I just find it an easy way. And then you're going to start rolling that clay around. Now you don't want to overlap. You want to actually cut it off at the seam and then rub out that seam. And then score the top. And then you're going to roll out another coil. First you just squeeze it and then you just push down with your hands and you want to make sure that you start in the middle and you roll out. See how my hands are going to the edge? And then I flatten it with a ruler because we're going to be building up a coil pot and we build, it's a lot easier to build with a flat surface than a rounded surface. This is why we use rectangle bricks and not uh, cylinder bricks to build buildings. And we're laying it of course on the flat side. I'm just going to roll out my clay some more and you can see how my hand is, both hands are moving out as my clay coil gets longer. Score on, slip and score on both sides and just continue to build that bowl around and you can see how each coil is offset just a little bit more from the other. I'm going to show you some mistakes that people make when rolling out coils. Sometimes they just go back and forth just a little bit and then they get these like bumps, these like speed bumps. And you need to remember to roll all the way out and all the way back. And when it starts to get thick into one area, focus on that area and roll it out. Now this coil is much longer than what I need, but I'm still going to cut it off at that seam, smooth that seam together, and then I can use that extra coil for the next one. Now there's a little bit of space there, so I can just fill the gap with a smaller piece of coil. Also, if you um, get your table wet when you're slipping and scoring, Make sure you get a towel and dry off your table because you can't really um, roll out a coil on a wet table. So see how I just filled that space, filled in that gap, and then smoothed out those seams. Okay, now we're going to talk about building. We're going to be building up beyond our bowl mold here. So let's use the best building materials in the world, in my personal opinion, Legos. Now we've all built with Legos before. And we know that if we want to build something that uh, is a diagonal like stairs, we need to take our blocks and we start with the base and then we veer out. So by just uh, offsetting one block at a time. And so this is essentially like one side of the bowl where you have offset just a little bit for each of your coils. Now, you can continue to make your bowl wider and bigger by continuing to offset it slightly with each coil you build up. Or 
you could also build straight up by not offsetting it at all and placing it one on top of the other. Or you can offset it in the opposite direction and have it build in a little bit. Uh, and so it's going to be the same idea except you're just going to, instead of being offsetting it on the outside, you're going to be offsetting it on the inside. And then, and this is what I'm going to do, is I'm going to offset it going inwards a little bit, and then I'm also going to build it straight up a little bit. And see how you can get a really interesting design that way? So let's do this, same idea, only with clay. Now this is when flattening out those coils is very important and scoring and slipping is very important because you're not going to have that bowl to support it. You really need to make sure that you can see the uh, marks and you can smooth it out. So I'm going to smooth it out a little bit beyond the bowl. I'm going to coil it a little bit out and then I'm going to coil it in and then I'm going to coil it straight up. Remember, you want to lay your coils down on the flat side, not on the skinny side, on the flat side. And I'm just going to fast forward this super fast and show you how I build up this whole bowl and how I smooth out the coils as I go, which you have to be very careful about because your clay is going to be very wet. So you really have to make sure that you use your hand as a support underneath. So whenever you smooth out, you'll see how I use two hands, one behind the clay and one smoothing out the clay. See how I'm using both hands, one is behind as a support while the other hand smooths it out. And I work the clay around using both hands and see how it gradually is building up. Now I'm not going to offset my clay at all. I'm going to put it right on top of each other and you're going to see how that's going to build it straight up like a cylinder. And I'm just going to continue to do this and then I'll be essentially all done until it dries enough for me to take the bowl or to take the bowl off and then I can smooth out the clay that is stuck to the styrofoam bowl when it's just a little bit more dried out.